Welcome to the channel. Today we have Justice League Wonder Woman exclusive alternate gold label alternate chase Wonder Woman from the build a figure Frost Giant line that just recently came out for Justice League uh, Endless Winter. Here we have our Diana Prince. And her winter outfit. And just from just looking at the back photography, she her her tiara is different. Um, if you were to purchase the secondary option, which came with the build a figure for the torso with the frost giant, you would have had had a sword instead of this here platinum axe. And then uh, the, these are all accentuated with gold. And then these are based off of 1984 Wonder Woman rendering and rendition as she is in her different variations of leathers from the the red to the blue. So here we are with our winter, my very first uh, McFarlane Toys, DC, Multiverse, uh, Wonder Woman, and uh, it's the Endless Winter version, and uh, I'm still waiting for my design by Todd McFarlane, Wonder Woman to come, that's also my first one right there too, but if you see, a winter has come, and today, when, uh, today, Wonder Woman had arrived, has arrived. So coming into the city, she has a mohawk braid. She has a fur leather cow cape. She has a platinum axe. And she has a golden shield. She has these very distinctive golden stripes that are on her boots, leading all the way up to the tips of her fur tops. Um, she has uh, different hand options. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take her out of the package, look at her, uh, I mean, her artwork is, like, uh, beautiful, mm. And we are going to build up our collection here. And I just open it, open it right on up. And I only paid, was it, I only paid $10 for it, so. I think that was a great deal. So once again, you're looking at a ten dollar price tag. Uh, she normally sells for about twenty dollars or so. I was able to get my my Nightwing right here. That's not the package, but I kind of just put it up on here. And so when I'm done with my actual photography, so I'll be sealing for my. Um, but I got uh, this one for six dollars, and I was able to get this Wonder Woman Endless Winter version for ten dollars. Okay, so here's what Wonder Woman looks out of the package. We're gonna go ahead and look at the back of the package. As you can see, these are uh, intricate fur details. And for axe comparison, I'm gonna go check out He-Man's axe. 
one of them that seems like the handle's a little bit longer for the, the, the DC, but the X is also smaller for that one, for, for reference. And then if we go over here to the He-Man, the X right there, and then we'll go ahead and look at this X right here for X comparison. You can see the handle is longer. Uh, DC is a little bit more intricate with a little bit more flamboyancy of design for uh, artistry. So this is DC's, and then this right here is Masterverse. DC's, X, Platinum X. Masterverse is Platinum X. See a little bit of battle damage on that. And we can see from this side that it's a. Uh, Spikes on each side, and uh, it is very, very nicely done. Definitely going to be going in the figure of 2024's, 2023. Honorable mentions at the end of the year. For more likely, maybe it might be a top contender, I don't know yet. Just starting the DC uh, wave line. Uh, as we look, she lo looks like her lipstick has some cherry red on there. And it is nicely portrayed. She does look like she is looking kind of like on the left, like if there's somebody approaching the right on the right side of her. And then she has the eye to the left. The start of her braid begins in the middle of her hair, being made into a singular mohawk braid. How gnarly is that? She looks like she has some kind of rune symbols on her uh, outfit. She has a punch hand. And then she has a weapon gripping hand. Kung Fu grip hand. Um, what I like most about this one uh, is the, the stripes. And uh, the face and the overall sculpt of it. The cape is a nice add-on to it with the wraparound tiara. I thought it just would have been kind of just out up here, right where her, her uh, right where her ears are at. That's where I kind of figured they might have just went back into where they got tucked into her hair. All right, but enough of that now. We're gonna go ahead and just take. Take her and open her right on up. That'll be right after this snap. Okay. And now we're back. So we're going to go ahead and pull our Princess Amazonian Queen and train it out. Uh, otherwise known as Wonder Woman. I just want to look at her, her braid real quick, because that is just amazing. Look at that, look at that. Let's see if I can... That is just amazing. The aesthetics, the symmetry is superb. And then look at that. I mean, I don't know if that's... Okay. The eyebrows, whoever tweets your eyebrows, man, wow, doing a great job. And then, I might add some earrings to her. Now we can see that she has some fur, that seems to be brown trim right around the neckline, leading into the fur cape that is a brown, could be a brown, brown bear, could be a brown, uh wolf or something and then the back side it feels like it is a uh, part of her so it might be glued in but we're gonna customize this later on we're gonna go do some uh sewing shopping we're gonna go and find some leather and we're gonna find some fur we're gonna make this into a uh, more uh, realistic off of this template right here which you can see the logo design uh, it is from 2021 TM uh, DC Todd McFarlane uh, made in Tina and as we look at the stitching along the side of our Wonder Woman 
you can see that it is match and uh, you know, I mean if you want to paint it another color I'd have to look at the comic book and see but it looks like it um, Ty McFarlane was like well I got you right here now if you want to go ahead and finish this this is the color of what we're gonna have to go for for the leather to come wrap around her back and then if you want to add in the sword sheath in the back you have that option to put that back there so for our Kryptonian crypt comic for DC multiverse we have our Wonder Woman and our Injustice Super Wonder Woman I mean our Injustice Supergirl and our uh, Endless Winter Snow Wonder Woman so how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do a little bit of filming in the winter right now outside where this is where our uh, Wonder Woman is she's gonna be somewhere out there where it's wintery and she you can, you're gonna see her walking around and then we have this custom Xbox XS 360 remote controller that and a custom hand here for our uh, Supergirl and then you can see on the other hand is our sword gripping weaponry hand and you can see it is uh, not the same hands though I do got the same hands those same hands happen to be right over here behind our custom officer Judy hops and I just want to show you show uh, show you what she looks like right now so here she is and then here she is with her spellcaster hat on how cool is that look at that uh, but anyhow back to super woman flash Kryptonian crypt spellcaster her hands are right here so these are the original hands that did come with the supergirl I don't know if it feels like we're doing a superhero uh, review right now, but we already had did that. But I'm just showing you that this, this is what's going on right now in the process. That's why she has this blue glove, or these blue uh, hands, or blue fingers on her hand. And she has a sword, a grass cutter on their other hand. As I build uh, my peoples for the stop motion animation and comp book you know, the comp books that, that, I, you know, that I'm in the process of making right now where she uh, meets today's heroes and they're going to be a variety because a lot has happened and we're just going to kind of branch into that which leads us to our Wonder Woman uh, Endless Winter Which is an excellent figure. Uh, you should go ahead and definitely pick her up because it's good to have different variations of your Wonder Woman other than her just being your classic uh, two piece bathing suit ordeal. So, I mean, that's great. So, go ahead and just go ahead and pick her up. And she, you know, her cake level is 10. She does not miss leg day or squat day out there in the gym. And for her to be even have that kind of mold with leather that's saying something I mean, dang. but overall she is definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book we got her out of the pages from the time book in justice First, she was in the mind creation of somebody's. They had a dream, and then from that dream, they came to the sculpture. From that sculpture came first the comic book, seeing if this would be uh, worthy to be made into 3D. And, it, and obviously, our Wonder Woman is worthy, and she has been made, and she is a 10 for that, because now we got... Straight out of the comic book pages, our Wonder Woman, our Supergirl, our Supergirl Injustice, our Nightwing, 
and uh, several other DC characters along the way. And look at this, look at this. Even though he's Fury Plant Cracker, you know, he can still go for uh, Killer Croc. Killer Croc's brother, who actually looks sweet, so it looks really cool. But, um, that's it for today's review. Keep collecting, hopefully you have a good time, and I'll see you when I see you. We're gonna see if she can actually fit onto this hoverboard. So this is what she looks like. Oh my gosh, she looks adorable. Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look and see how he holds his uh, axe, but he looks like he just walks around with an axe, so we need to see if we have an axe sheath holder, which we don't. Unfortunately, and any one of our uh, collaboration, yes, and there has been DC and um, uh, He Man crossover, they live in the same universe, along with the TNA Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Power Rangers. And that is what our Wonder Woman looks like with our custom hat. And they're saying on top of my custom portable uh, city building playset that stands at two feet four and three eighths of inches. And this is magnetized, so you go take that back and then we'll go to the side. And you got whatever you want to put down here for your first floor. Reviewable elevators, ground level on the secondary floor. And not only that, but it can also act as a garden plant holder that's very decorative of a building for those that would like to be able to modernize their uh, garden as well as use this as a uh, city building for your garden roadway. So, you know, that's it for the here today in the office. Thank you for coming to me after hours. Uh, we opened up our Wonder Woman that came in the mail today. Um, it wasn't the Wonder Woman that was designed by Todd McFarlane, though I am pleased with the Wonder Woman from Endless Winter Justice League. So, all in all, she is a 10 out of 10 for posability, for realism, for sculpture, for the portrayal. And plus, it's, she's coming straight out of the comics, so how can you guys, or anybody, really be a hypocrite, or even be negative, when these are pulled from the very imaginations of the comic book creators that are now made into posable, collectible, adult, and generational action figure collectibles. Now, I'm taking this, making my own story, you know, I, I, I'm an animator, I draw, you know, 
And so, like for me, I am making a storyline, a script, as you can see, I'm building it, and now I'm slowly utilizing the DC universe by picking out from the DC multiverse best collection from prior 2023, though I just did an actual figure review of the top five, though I didn't really do the actual figure for the whole ten, though DC is going to be in the top ten category, but they didn't make five, because five went to Masters of the Universe, while well, one was Revoltex Officer Judy Hops. Number two was Revoltex Nick Wilde, right there. Cracker, he, he made the top four. And, uh, you know, so, and then with the, with the four, or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I believe it was four, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and then Masters of the Universe was five. And then six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. I figured nobody really wanted them for their record. So I figured, you know, I'll do that later on. But I'm just going to compile the list of the action figures I didn't really get to completely review because I felt like I had just snubbed uh, Todd McFarlane's Supergirl Flash that had just came out because I didn't have a chance to actually give a chance to the reviewer doing the possibility and actually give her the dynamic that. We have seen her today, where, where she's holding a, a video game remote controller and sword in her other hand, other than just a palm and a, and a slap hand, or, or, uh, or what she had originally came packaged with, which I'm so grateful for. As you can see, I got a different variety of accessories. And for instance, this this one right here, you know, Austin G. Hops, uh, spell book. She, she writes. She writes a spell and then she turns from her bunny form into a bunny bunny humanoid. That this is what she looks like in her bunny humanoid form from uh, the hit video game mobile app video game that is. And that is uh, you uh Sakura. So this is how she turns herself into her bunny form, into a humanoid bunny form. <laughs> so you're getting a little bit more than just a uh, DC, multiverse, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Endless Winter review today. You're getting a little bit more. You're getting behind the scenes. As I compile the background, the, the diorama, and the storyline as I draw it out. For the avid comic book enthusiasts. That way they can read and enjoy uh, an alternate storyline that is not really mainstream but it pertains to mainstream uh, relevance just like my music they can get on any digital platform that way I can continue to be able to reinvest, reinvest and recirculate to continue to invest for residual income So uh, then I'm going to close it off today uh, for Freshwater Planet, Tropical Aquatics LLC, Comic Collectibles, Memorabilia Diagram Tutorials, Mania, Anime, Western, Comic Book, Action Figure Reviews, After Hours, and uh, as you can see this right here, uh, Late Year Battle of the Equipped Zyklops. Yeah, uh, it's still waiting to be uh, opened and reviewed, along with a whole bunch of other Disney like your um, merch that pertains to the Disney universe. For I'm still waiting for the shipment that is supposed to arrive within this week for the three pack of the Princess three pack for Princess Ariel, Princess Mulan, and Fracture Princess Belle, and then continue forward. In the meantime. 
the plants are doing extremely well as well as the inhabitants of the freshwater ecosystem of which we see our aerial down here and a miniature version in our city where aerial lives with Sisu where Judy Hat so happens to crash land in and uh, behind there there's some of Judy Hop cybernetics suits ones for hot environments like lava the blue ones for water and then the black and pink one is for uh, shadow darkness so those are different modes that she had made and created which we'll be going over when the time comes I know it's a little bit outside of the review for the DC um, multiverse Wonder Woman and this winter, uh, but uh, we had concluded that, and right now we're in the half hour, so I'm just talking about projects that are being currently worked on and that are still working, and upcoming things that are yet to arrive that are going to be utilized that are still relevant to what I'm speaking to you to about right now and here and now today. So, anyhow, have a good day, and I'll see you when I see you, and keep collecting.